So there are many different ways to do this problem. Um, you can certainly just pick a small value for h. That would be the easiest, for example. So I could pick h as 0 0.01 in radian. Now cosine pi over 2, that's 0. So this is cosine. What you would do is compute this. Divide by 0 0.01. I'm just going to use the calculator. And this I obtain minus 0 0.00999. So this is actually about minus 0 0.01. 1 divided by 0 0.01, that's just minus 1, so close. So if you look at the answer choices, same as B. So that's one approach. The second is you could use the sum formula. So the key thing is you do need to know all these concepts because they tie in with uh, different ideas and, and they are kind of all linked. But in this case, you could just plug in. Uh, the summation, uh, we can use the sum formula, so this would be cosine... Uh, pi over 2 cosine h minus sine pi over 2 sine h. Again, this is 0. Cosine pi over 2 is 0. Sine pi over 2 is 1. So that's minus sine h. This piece is 0. So this limit becomes minus sine h over h. And this is h going to 0. This you might be familiar. This is a good one to know. Is uh, just 1. So this is again is minus 1. Um, the other thing you can also do is to recognize that this limit form is the different differentiation of this function, cosine pi over 2 plus x, if you evaluate it at x equal to 0. Because if you were to write this in limit form, this would be cosine pi over 2 plus x plus h minus cosine pi over 2 plus x divided by h. And you'll see that if I replace x with 0, this becomes the same as this guy. So all you do is to find the derivative of that function. That's going to be minus sine pi over 2 plus x. And then compute this at x equal to 0, which is minus sine pi over 2 or minus 1. So these are all different ways to do the problem, and I would just urge you to kind of be comfortable and understand those concepts. So to recap, the answer is B.